Good evening and a warm welcome to everyone. I am Dr. Sohani and I welcome you on my talk show, Tete Tete at Subi's Power Meet, in collaboration with Brand You Here. This evening is very, very special for me. This our guest today is someone who I have been following for the longest time. And I'm so taken up by her with the lovely work that she's doing, the activities that she does, and she is unstoppable. From Delhi to Monaco. <laughs> well, here we have Shalini Arora Kocher. <laughs> A warm welcome to you, Shalini. Thank you for coming on my talk show. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, uh, Suhani, for having me. Should I be calling you Suhani or Doctor or what? How no, would you like Suhani. To you? Just Suhani. That's it. <laughs> so good to be here. And thank you for this introduction because I'm the one who's a fan and I've been watching all the amazing work that you do and how beautifully you have kept your relationships. And you've got some amazing people on your tete text that I keep watching. So thank you so much for giving me this privilege today. Thank you so much. So I'd like to introduce to all you wonderful people, Shal Shalini Arora Kocher is a modern luxury and lifestyle guru. And she works with different industries, celebrities and countries globally. Best-selling author, columnist, TV anchor and happiness and success X-Factor coach. Shalini radiates the wisdom of an Indian yogi and the glamour of the principality of Monaco, where she lives. As a former Miss India finalist, Shalini combines beauty and intelligence with her purpose. Founder of Women on Top Forum, she promotes women empowerment all over the world among the top industries. From movies to music to sports to fashion to corporate and business, she is the ambassador for the World Forum uh, Monaco. She's the president of Wiki, that's W-I-C-C-I, Monaco, for Indian, uh, India and Bilateral uh, Relations. Her first book, Shalini Says, Women on Top of Their Game celebrates 100 women entrepreneurs and their inspiring stories and contributes to raising awareness about breast cancer worldwide. Please watch her interviews on YouTube at Women on Top underscore TV. Her second and third books are One and Stay at Home Project were they were overnight bestsellers, people. <laughs> She has three more books in the pipeline. Love Your Zindagi, which is co-authored by Kulraj Shapuri. For your, find Your Emotional G-Spot. That's a very, very interesting one, which is co-authored by Kanika Sethi Babar. And Shalini says, Women on Top of Their Game, the global edition. Shalini's fire for life radiates in all she does as demonstrated by the multiple awards that she received by leading organizations such as Women's Economic Forum, United Nations, ICUNR, and Dr. Ambedkar National Award, Dr. Sarojini Naidu Award 2020, ICMEI and AAFT, Berlin Capital Club, Women Entrepreneur of the Year Award in Berlin, among others wow 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 <laughs> her creativity also shines through her perfume the gold of shalini and her jewelry line sax monaco which is showcased in all top fashion weeks in europe and luxury retails in monaco milan berlin and paris as a coach shalini leads the X Factor Sphere on the unique edutainment platform TV, and she is impaneled at the happiness as the happiness coach in India. Contact you can contact Shalini uh, to raise the bar of your performance uh, in business and in life. And I love this most about Shalini is her mantra. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. It resonates in the universe. So people, we have to follow Shalini at shalini.global. <laughs> and we have to fly with her to newer heights. 
Wow, wow, wow. Really long question. I hope the audience is not left. I was a bit worried and I didn't want to interrupt. But thank you for reading it all out with so much gusto. <laughs> <laughs> the audience will leave. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> no, these are things which are so important for people to know, Shalini. That's what I always say. That every guest that I get on my show, it's all about the invitees. So today, it's all about Shalini Aurora Kocher. It's all about you. <laughs> so without much ado, really would like to ask you. You know the the fact. You know. From Delhi to Monaco, how did it feel, you know, when you were first told, okay, you have to move to Monaco and uh, what was it that was going in your mind? Because you're doing brilliantly out there. I follow you all the time on social media and you're doing a wonderful work out there, which is amazing. Thank you so much. And thank you again, Suhani, because it's so nice to share uh, your journey because I think yeah. it's inspiring for people uh, as well when they hear that, you know, somebody can actually go and make a place for themselves in a place like Monaco. Because I do believe that we have to step out of our comfort zones for good things to happen to us. And that's yeah. exactly what I did. Um, yes, the opportunity was because of my husband, because he was moving there now uh, with his profession. And he did give me the option because I just published my first book and he said that I know that you're, you know, the world is your stage at this point in time. Do you think that this is a good idea? Because either we can live my dreams of my job or you can live your dreams, you know, here of where you've arrived in life. And right. uh, and like they say that opportunity knocks once and either right. you recognize it and grab it or it just passes you by. And for him, he believed it was an opportunity of a lifetime. But for mm -hmm. me, it has been the opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, he already knew what he was going into. I had no idea, but I had um, the determination and I'm a persistent enough person to go and live my dreams. Like I always say that don't uh, dream your life, live your dreams. And that's exactly what I chose to do. Uh, so, but, but, you know, we have to be honest. Um, as, as Indians, we are in this comfort zone. We've got family, we've got friends, we've got so much help. Going to a place which um, I had no clue about because I'd never been to Monaco before and I refused to go for a look-see because I said, I don't want to go with a you know, mindset. I want to go Correct. there with um, being sure that I want to do this. So okay. initially, the apprehensions are there because they are human. Uh, but like I always say, it's a mindset that makes a difference. And I was determined to uh, make a life i was determined to be happy now i had moments where i would be weak and i would be like oh my god can i really do this i really miss my family i miss my friends but here i am three and a half years later having made a place for myself and happy with what i do i've just recently uh, launched a magazine in monaco which is called women on top monaco uh, right. so i guess i i've made it <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Wow, that's that's uh, that's awesome, uh, Shalini. So you know, this brings me to uh, ask you. You know, Shalini, you play so many roles. I mean, you are. I, I, I mean, when I was reading your profile, I said, "There's nothing I can leave out because everything is so important that you have done." You know, right from you participating in Miss India to right from you doing various uh, uh, roles that you have played. From being an author to a columnist to a TV anchor to I mean what not you have been doing, uh, how do you and, and and on top of that it's not that you're only doing your your bit or your profession or your work you're married you have a, a a family you have children your children are grown up now of course but how do you where where is the time coming for you Shalini tell us about it because uh, whatever little I do I find it so difficult sometimes to, you know juggle I'm just juggling and I don't know where I'm running to uh, help us help us sometimes and I see you you are always there and whatever you do you're doing it wow you know everything is like on the top of your game so how do you manage that there may be a lot of people that may not agree with you and <laughs> I mean, my family saying okay no you're not doing it well because you're being a <laughs> and focus and you know whatever um yeah. but yes, you're absolutely right and that's where when people say that women can't multitask 
You know, I yeah. wanted to see them. Women are the ones that are constantly doing the juggling, right? We are the ones yeah. who are holding our home together, you know, making sure there's food to eat, making sure our kids are getting educated, making sure they've got the quality time, and yet yeah. we're pursuing our passions. Um, it, it was harder when the kids were younger. Now, of course, yeah. we, uh, you know, <laughs> they don't need me. Yeah. <laughs> what i feel like uh, yeah. but yes, there was a lot of time management involved there was a lot of uh, setbacks i feel that i took or, or by choice because i felt yeah. that i needed to give that time to the family as well and it was a choice i made so no regrets yeah. however we do take a setback in our careers because we say that we would rather have a happy family than you know just be this yeah. person who's pursuing only one passion so it was important to right. keep that balance um, right and uh, there's been ups and downs. There's been ups and downs. There's been times when you just say, hey, it's okay, what the hell, I'm just a housewife. Um, yes. No matter how hard I work, no matter what I do, I feel very proud that I'm able to make a difference professionally as well in my life. But if somebody was to ask me, what is your biggest achievement? I always say uh, that my children are my biggest achievement. I think that's... Um, that's the, the biggest thing. I've <laughs> wow, that's, I think uh, I completely agree with you. You know, I, I used to always say that uh, when we get married, our lives get uh, changed, you know, uh, because you're getting married, you're going to live your life with, you know, another person 24 seven. But then I feel uh, well, when you have children, your life is not yours. It's like you dedicate your life to your children. You know? So I completely uh, agree with you, Shalini, that was beautiful what you said so Sh 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 shalini i really want to know more about in fact uh, i'm sure the viewers would also know want to know more about uh, women on top i mean that's a, what a wonderful thing that that you're doing out there and uh, tell us more about it yeah. you know like all of us as little girls when we are growing up the only thing that excites us is uh, attention from boys right so I was nice. also that person who loved the attention from the boys and I had more male friends than I had female friends because I would tie out with the female friends and I would be like, oh, these boys are awesome because they always made me feel good. And the women would give me the, the, you know, it was a reality check the girls gave me. So my mother used to always tell me that you don't realize this, but in the long run, your girlfriends mm -hmm. are going to stand by your side and think about it. They, all these boys will be out of the picture the minute you get married. I was like, mom, you know, get a life. That's not true because they're my <clears throat> friends. They do it. Right. And uh, that's why they say the wisdom comes from age and the mothers knew what they were talking about. As I grew up in life, I realized that having your girlfriends and your girlfriends having your back is what makes a difference. And therefore, I then started actually investing in really beautiful relationships with some beautiful friends. And it just kept growing. And for me, the thought was, um, when I would see people going through, and especially I work a lot on the midlife reboot, that's when Women on Top came around. I realized right. that a lot of women are going through apprehensions because they married at a young age, gave up their careers, they didn't know what to do. And I said, you know what, I need to do something about it. Yeah. So the forum uh, came about with my concept of doing this coffee table book, which I wrote about 100 women entrepreneurs who were doing amazing work and who were uh, who played a huge role in making me who I am because they were people that added to my personality, that showed me the way, that were an inspiration to me, women that I've looked up to. So if you read the book, it's actually got people right from Bollywood to corporates to um, you know doctors and even healers. And I've got some imp very impressive women who are actually, known to me and a part of my life and I wanted to write about people that have inspired me because I knew they would inspire other people and when I started doing this book I decided that I would create a forum uh, mm. for all these women who feel at uh, that they've got the short end of the stick and they're not able to do anything now because they're you know going to midlife I wanted to create a forum of networking which gives you the ability to grow through interdependence because yes. I want people to believe that it's a myth that women don't help each other. Women right. who are comfortable in their skin and secure about what they do and confident about the way they live their lives always help other women. They Absolutely. always want to do what they can do. So this is what was the concept behind Women on Top to grow through right. interdependence. And all the 100 women, if you were to actually do a, you know, feedback session with them, they all came right. together. A lot of them now work together. A lot of them, 
help other women uh, you know get funding or get jobs or uh, just get guidance of what they want to do right. and i carried forward this women on top forum to monaco now where we are now doing the magazine uh, which yes. is magazine which is for you by you so it is it is not a news magazine it is a magazine where women write articles on what they specialize in because i want to create a platform for people to know and recognize right. amazing women so that's what the magazine came about now we're going to have the women on top global awards where i would like to felicitate all the beautiful women that are making a difference in you know in this world so that's what wow. the awards is going to be about so that's like so, as you can see wow. women on top is my passion project so i can wow. about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic so uh, shalini where you go to have the awards in delhi or in monaco where would it be So um so I am going to have the I I want to kick start the awards and I I was planning to do it after the situation got better but it doesn't look like we will be able to do that events for a little while longer so I'm going to start with uh, it on a digital uh, platform and then of course when things are better then we're going to do in Monaco yes. do it in Delhi right. uh, wow. it is a award so I would like to bring my friends from Monaco to our country and yes. showcase our country and vice versa so it Versa be- yes that's right wow and yeah. i mean um, you being uh, the president of uh, wiki and you know uh, the bilateral relations between india and monaco uh, that, that that you've been working at i mean that's another amazing role that you are playing uh, shalini uh, uh, it's it's absolutely amazing <laughs> that is actually a very humbling experience i've been working with i am sure you know dr harbin arora who was running the all ladies league earlier i was a vice president for one of their leagues at that point in time as well and right. as i was in monaco and she started wiki she reached out to me and she said it's time to collaborate again and uh, of course thing for monaco india bilateral relations uh, so i'm very humbled by that opportunity because i think that she's doing some amazing work and i'm happy that i can be a part of this i have a great team with me in monaco i have uh, a friend of mine called heidi who is uh, you know my vice president i have ani i have uh, you know i have ton of women that have joined this forum who are also writing for my book which you will if you go to www.womenontop.monaco.co you'd be able to read it and you'd be able to see the amazing women that have come together to right. the reality it's it's actually it's quite it's quite a um, quite a privilege to be this person brilliant super super fantastic shalini so tell us about your uh, amazing uh, jewelry line that you have and even your perfume i mean i think that was <laughs> amazing you know i was completely ecstatic when i was saying wow jewelry line also but she has a perfume also <laughs> So you know um jewelry came about when i used to do events like you do suhani you do some amazing yeah. events and i used to do the same story but i just felt that a part of uh, you know creative part of me was not getting you know exploited and i wanted to do something different and we always say that we want to do something different um right. that's when i started designing jewelry i used to actually go and sit with the artisans and uh, work with them and get designs done and and today it's become much easier because now i have vendors that do a lot of manipulation etc so i don't have to do it but i actually started the right way by sitting right. looking, figuring it out because i had no knowledge about it and right. who would have known that i would go to monaco people love the jewelry and i'm happy that i can be a part of the make in india project of promoting you know uh, the products right. that we in india overseas i do participate in all the fashion weeks there because that's a great showcase for people to see what's available and um, it's given me a whole new platform and a whole new perspective i do right. that uh, but um, my uh, my passion is still making a difference and changing the world so i do <laughs> coaching way more than i i should be focusing on that is that more on autopilot i used to be in a lot of right. stores in delhi now of course not doing that i'm doing it only in monaco and milan and berlin etc but yeah. uh, yes it's another one of my passion projects yes as far as the perfume goes um, yeah. you know all of us indians when we travel there we go to glass to see how the yeah. perfumes are made and we go to fragrance and we get very excited and we all want yes. to have a concoction because as a woman you know if you smell good you feel good so yes. it's the same and it was um, i'm a big believer of manifestation 
And um, that's exactly what happened. I just said, I just want my own perfume. I did do that, but I have not been able to promote and market it yet because suddenly life changed for all of us. So I'm holding on to putting it out there in the market um, until times are better. But yes, I've got something that I love. And um, if you wear it, uh, not just your personality, but you truly will leave the fragrance behind. Super fab because I, I I fell in love with the name the gold of Shalini. <laughs> I, grew up, I grew up telling everybody I've got the Midas touch, so it had to. Be- <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful so so tell tell us you know shalini uh this pandemic has happened and it's completely you know uh changed everybody's lives you know i mean there are a whole lot of people who've got terribly affected and there are a whole lot of people who've done extremely well in anything and everything related to online where they were buzzing with work they were doing extremely well but there were a lot of other small businesses that have got affected very badly but uh, what i really want to know from you you know the luxury segment what do you think is going to happen of it you know you know, I, I really don't think, I think uh, the people affected at this point, maybe the hotels and airlines yeah. and restaurants, etc., are really badly affected because people are not going and they're yeah. having to work very hard. And the small ones have closed and the bigger ones, you know, the bigger players are in the scene, but the small ones are not being able to sustain themselves. Um, I don't think that uh, people that buy luxury in any mm. case are affected, yeah. to be very honest, because they already... Right have enough money to be indulging in but i think the concept of luxury has changed for a lot of people today i think today for me luxury is to be able to go for a walk and remove that mask to be able to sit with 10 friends and just have a heart to heart like you're doing a -a tete-a-tete i would love to do this in person so (laughs) the concept of luxury has changed for people. Nobody wants to buy those bags and keep them in the house and when you don't have anywhere to take them. So I think we will have to take it one step at a time. We will have to make sure that that luxury will be the vaccine right now. I think that is luxury that we all want and we all need. So the perspective and the, the thought process of luxury has changed. But I don't think the people that were buying luxury are affected. If you still go outside a Gucci, or a, or a Cartier or any place which you were going to earlier, they would always limit the number of people inside because they want to give you personal attention. They're still doing right. the same. So if you're standing <laughs> thinking you're doing it because of social distancing, that's no, not true. No. That even before social distancing, they said, okay, we, we are too crowded. So nothing has changed. And I live in Monaco right. and I've seen, um, you know, life has gone on and people Mm. are still buying what they want to. They may Mm. wear a mask and go to a restaurant, but nothing has changed. Yes, jelly, um, you know, people are not going to restaurants as much because it's kind of crazy. So, so yeah, so it's all in the perspective, what is luxury to you? For me, luxury (laughs) right now is just being with friends and getting that mask off my face so people can see what I look like. I think that was beautifully said, uh, Shalini. I think it was really, really wonderful of how you put uh, your perspective of luxury. And it is so true for anyone and everyone. Because we, uh, uh, I mean, especially as Indians, we are not used to the mask, you know. Where you go in Asia, you go to China, or you go to a Korea or some, those people are used to wearing masks because that's their day-to-day thing that they carry and they wear. But we are not, you know. We want, And we are very, very social people we want to go out we want to meet people we want to party we want to uh, meet our friends just talk to just have a conversation you know over a cup of tea and i think very true you really really at least we are all missing that a lot so yes praying that uh, things get back to the way they were as quick I'm as possible <laughs> Okay. This brings me to ask you that, you know, Shalini, you're a coach and uh, especially, you know, uh, uh, you where, where X Factor is concerned, you're, uh, you're a coach out there, but you're also a happiness coach. So tell us more about that. So uh, this is exactly what Monaco did to me. 
uh, I was in the same business as you, like I mentioned in India. Yeah. My jewelry line was in a lot of stores. So that's what I was doing. But my dream was always to go sit by the beach and write a book, right? And look, the, the, I, I reached the beach. I got to do that. And I realized that what I did in India was not something that I could do there. And I had a lot yeah. of time to do introspection. And yes. um, I decided that I have to write down my goals. What is it that I want to do? And I've yes. always said that if I can make a difference, I will. And yes. um, we all know that it's got to be one life at a time. So coaching was the way to go. I, I was talking to a lot of people who were in this profession. So I've had tons of inspiration around me. I never thought myself to be that person that can actually uh, make a difference and you know really do it. I dreamt it. I wanted to do it, but I didn't think I would be it, uh, which is wrong as a coach because you have to think it, believe it, and then go for it. Um, so I studied. I did a program. I did an ICF certification. Uh, one year I studied. I focused. I said, no matter, it doesn't matter if I don't have friends. It's okay. I will upskill. And like I say, skills pay your bills. So I said, I'm going to do this. I studied yeah. and then started coaching very fortunately for me I actually wanted to do celebrity coaching because I've been in the you know the Bollywood and the modeling industry but fortunately I did get an actress as my first uh, client and she was right. talking to me she says you know uh, you don't even have to consciously coach me but when you speak I feel inspired and I just think I'm at that turning point in my life and you would be great and uh, right. there was looking back that's how it happened right. we all wow. know that um, we all know, and there's a Harvard study as well, that it's relationships um, yes. that contribute to how we feel and how happy we are. That's why we Indians are mostly happy because we have so many relationships. <laughs> <laughs> we got relatives coming out of the woodwork, you know. <laughs> however, however, people overseas uh, live a little bit uh, So I think relationships it is, and I have been... Um, I've led a very good life. The good relationships that I have made be my family, made be my friends. And to right. be able to share your own experience always makes you the best coach. So I walk the talk and uh, yes. Okay, yes. Did a good job with that. Yeah. In, uh, in fact, I love your talk show uh, that you started uh, thanks to the lockdown and the, the, the lockdown time, you know, the lockdown series which you started. I think that was fantastic. And you get some most amazing guests on your show. Thank you. <laughs> Brilliant. So do you. That's why we're both sitting here. <laughs> yes. Right there. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, but like I said before we started the show that, you know, your talks in the evening with your guests is so stimulating. It's the same story with me. I think uh, it's so amazing to hear other people's perspective and what they think about it, how they're dealing with their life, how they're handling yes. the situation. In fact, I'm feeling so funny being on this side of the table and I'm always <laughs> stop speaking about myself and start asking you questions. Okay, so honey, I'm in our minds, my turn. <laughs> <laughs> so one last thing I'd uh, like to say, I can't believe it, you know, we are, you know, time's already up, but yet I'm going to ask you this because I, can't, I won't be at peace if I don't ask you. Uh, how does it feel, you know, when dreams are fulfilled and then what, what, what comes ahead then? For Shalini. I, I just want to actually act it out for you and stand up and do the jig. <laughs> but if I stand up and do this jig, I'd be out of the prison. So I'm going to just stand up and do the jig. That's how it feels. <laughs> it feels awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel blessed. I live my life in gratitude. I start my morning with my gratitude journal where I write what I'm thankful for. I'm actually now on my way out. It's a Monday and I'm a big Guruji believer. So I'm on Good. my way out to give samosas and laddus to all my uh, guards in the community because I feel grateful for the fact that he's got our backs and uh, all my dreams have come true. I have truly nothing to ask for, only gratitude for all that's happening. To me. Fantastic. Wow, what are a fantastic uh, Tete -tete we've had, Shalini. I've to totally, totally enjoyed it. I'm sure all our viewers have enjoyed it too. And there are a whole lot of people who have joined us. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, all you wonderful people. But uh, before we go, as I always say um, uh, to all you uh, lovely people, that's uh, stay safe and be positive. And this is November. As you all know, from the first show of November, I've been harping about my birthday, my birthday. 
birthday month, my birthday oh. month. So, oh, yeah. yeah. yes. Yeah. Because on my birthday this time, I'm going to do something uh, which I've never, I mean, I've done before, but I want to do because I, a couple of years ago, Vivek and me, my husband and me made up our minds that any day of celebration, we will uh, give that a, a part of our lives to society. So we will do something for society. So I'm working on a project which is very close to my heart is to raise funds for uh, children who are born with cleft lip palate. Uh, we do search, especially the underprivileged children, and we do surgeries for them free of cost. So we raise funds for that. Wow. And on 25th November, the first time I'm debuting as a singer <laughs> and uh, I'm going to do an online I show. <laughs> this show till I hear two lines. I'm sorry, guys, this has got to be... <laughs> Uh, this is about to end with Suhani singing her two lines. Let's do it. So I am going, okay, so I am going to sing, but you may not like my singing, oh, Shalini, but I'm going to try because I'm a hardcore Bollywood singer. But this song I want to sing for you, just one line of it, because I am so taken up by the fact that that is your mantra. So this is what I'm going to say to you, lovely people, and to this wonderful woman out here, Shalini Arora Kocher. I think right. all of us should really, really follow it. And this is how it goes. <clears throat> I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. <laughs> I think I'll just do that much. <laughs> that was for you. Fly away. Let my wings and fly away. I believe I can fly. I believe I can <laughs> thank you thank you thank you this was a wonderful show and all you yeah thank you so much all you guys stay safe be positive and if there's anything bothering you worrying you out there don't keep it bottled up inside go and communicate to a friend that you trust your inner circle or a mem family member that you trust but do that because you never know what's bothering you could be bothering someone else and you could help that person too so do that for yourself and do that for your health so that you can stay healthy because if you are healthy you can look after your family better so do that for yourself you people have a great evening ahead once again shalini arora kocher this was a fantastic evening fantastic tete -tete. i loved it of every single minute every single second of it thank you please do follow shalini arora kocher she is present on all social media handles and uh, as i said we must all follow as she says i believe i can fly that's her mantra so let's make it our mantra too <laughs> and on that note Thank you. Bye-bye. God bless. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>